one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 1993 Mercedes-Benz W140 in the flagship of the flagships, the S600 model. I'm gonna do a quick walk around at this different time of night here to where you can catch how the car looks with a little bit of shadow on it or dusk or dawn or whatever it may be that's not as bright. The car's beautiful. Look at all that shine, man, just shine. And then wheels really, really, really set it off. There was a ding I didn't notice here. Boom. Actually, I noticed it like a month ago, but I didn't tell you in the last exterior walk around. And like I say, this is going to be the interior, but I like to show you the exterior at the different lighting to where you can get a good idea of what it is you're getting. Like I say, I'm not sure, but I think in this year they all have the dual color cladding on the bottom there. Okay, so let's get into this interior review. Interior is in great shape. Um, hardly anywhere. That's just got a little dirt and dust on it from setting, but there's nowhere. Nowhere on the carpets underneath. It's in great shape. Little wrinkles. This is getting rolled up by somebody's feet. Um, the seats are in great shape. Little wear starting right there. It's not tore through, but it's wore through, so to speak. Um, well, these are all the way up, aren't they? Here's the back. There's the forward. There's the end of the face, or butt. Up in the front. Down in the front. Up in the back. Down in the back. Recliner. And this does not go up. Let manually it does, but it doesn't hold. 93, 10 of 92, so 92 overseas. On the door panel, this piece is loose, and it has the pin on this end, but the clip in there is right there, is wore out. So that's going to have to be addressed somehow or attached. The arm piece there is missing. It's good on the other side. It's missing here. This car has, um, actually, this piece is loose. It's just not in there correctly. It needs to be tightened up. This car has the K40 radar. So it turns on. There's the light. Cloaking, anti-jammer. I don't know everything this thing is. But it's it. Let's put it that way. Um, miscellaneous things. In fact, there's the original key thing that's falling apart somehow. Um, these foams, it's not hooked up to an account. Everything's in here. But being not hooked up to an account, you're not going to get it hooked up. Well, can you believe that? This was laying in the garage out there. And, no garage. On the asphalt out here. And we set it in here. I didn't. And it got some stuff on the seat. That's not a stain. That's from the duct tape sitting in here in the hot sun. In fact, I'm wondering how crazy I am to be sitting in here in the hot sun. I'm actually going to rip these all out in the back. How's that? We'll do that in the back. Um, let's do some windows. Usually it's the back ones that go out. I don't even want to try this, but I'm gonna. I figured it worked. Goes right back up nicely too. Okay, let's do this mirror. In. Oh, and the button is loose. Out. Up. 
down. Let's do this one. This is actually one of those years down. Up, out, in. They all work. And wow, there's the out. That fixed that. Wish that would have been done before I took my pictures because now that'll be nice and tight. Um, and also, this is the year down, up, right, left. Lights, lights with the door open, is that right? Yes, rear lights. Small lights, that one is on. So guarantee, or one of them was, put it that way. Somebody burnt my lights out. Let's take this around back. Door jams, really clean. It's a clean car. It's got 120, here we are. Let's close this up real quick. Headliner's in great shape. Look at that beautiful interior on this car. Seriously, it's in great shape. Gold coin. Keep hoping one of these days, rear air and rear air control. That's a 600 option. As is, this is a cool option. Um, I think I'm going to have to have that on. Reclining rear seat, heated rear seat. Um, that's gone. That little pull and move offer. Um, back is missing off of that. Medical kit is missing, which I don't trust them very much after 25 years. Um, I bumped this with my head when I was in here. You know what, it's got a matchstick there. I don't know, it stays. Take that off and throw it out. And now it don't stay. Really? Really. I will figure this out a little. And maybe it just had that as a wedge there. Or something to that effect. Here's my little matchstick. I will. No, that's not working. This needs to be addressed. It shuts off right about there. Right there. So as long as it's up that far, there's more you can go. So um, it needs to be addressed. I'll fix that. It should just go like that. Very easy, cheap part to replace if you wanted to. Or you could just make sure it's shut. Okay, let's get to looking at this here. A little wear on that. Nope, that's dust. This is in nice shape, all the suede or whatever. Gold coin. Nope. One of these, I'd settle for silver, damn it. That's all there is to say about it. The auto suck down. Works great. This side does stay a little higher, like I mentioned in the other video. So even though it's, you know what it is? Damn it. Yep. It's that right there. And all I have to do, guarantee, just tighten that up. It'll suck that down just right. Okay, so there's a couple marks in here. And as you're seeing, that trunk needs to be adjusted. Very simple deal. It's all in this latch that you can see. It goes up and down just because it wasn't 
tightened right. Um, here's your... Oh, yeah. That's supposed to go under the hood. It sure is. And I had the wiring harness replaced on this. Let's put this in min pocket. Um, around there, that piece, I bet you that's the back to it. Okay, I didn't pop the hood. Beautiful gold coin. Oh, these are, I didn't know that. Automatic or whatever on this side. Let's try this one. Yep. That works. Okay, lights everywhere, man. This thing is lighted up. That one's got it. This thing don't smell to have ever been smoked in. That's for sure. Go coin, check a second time. Maybe I missed it. Nope. Oops. Ah! This one. I've left the glove box open. Here, here, here. All that's intact. Um, the one thing I was going to try here. Rear sunshade is not working. Um, headrest button from the back, front to the back is working right there. I hate testing locks. I'll test them when I get back in. They're not working. Because the door's open maybe is what I'm thinking. Um, radio is missing. Um, that front piece is loose. Sure is on the bottom. And it gets reattached. Yep. You just reattach it, watch. Right to that piece there. And it's a done deal. But, for right now, it was on there just to look like that, because, I guess you don't really. Go oh, point. I'm not going to be going down the road smoking it up in your car. Okay. Up. Back. You might be, actually. I don't know. Up in the back. Down in the back. Up in the front. Down in the front. Um, butt piece out, butt piece in. This one I can hear the motor engaging on, but it's not going up either. Carpet looks great, formats look great. Let's get this thing open here, I'm sorry. Let's get back here. I'm gonna clip this off a second and spread these out. Okay, I, I tighten it up a little. All the handle works. This just needs some adjustment. And I think it's up in this hinge. It needs to come down a little bit. The other question is maybe the pull down motor actually isn't pulling it down. Uh, beautiful on the outside, once again. You've seen whatever's wrong with that. Under the hood! I actually have this like this. And I had this off because of this. Just took these four bolts out. Brand new wiring harnesses. Put on this bad boy. Okay, it's these four bowls that take that off. Um, so that's that. Absolutely beautiful under here. I'm gonna do a separate video for the rest of it. One owner car guy, one owner car guy dot com, hipstercars.com. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, thanks for watching. That was the interior. I'm gonna put all three together on my other channel, Hipster Cars. Make sure and subscribe there and subscribe here. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Wanna buy it? 406-544-6919. I got six of them. We'll talk to you.